Hi everyone, I am going to react to Haikyuu, episode 8, He Who Is Called Ace. I'm assuming that will be our, uh, what was it called, the guardian deity that showed up at the end of the last episode. So he must be an ace spiker, I think. Last episode, Karasuno won against Seijo, right? Even after, well, basically because Oikawa showed up at the end of the match itself, like at the last set, when they were about to be done, like Karasuno only only needed one point to win, and that's when the guy came in. But then he, you can tell he's strong, man. That's what we want. And now he challenged our team to the inter highs. And they're like, they need, Karasuno needs more people to join the team, right? And that is like, this guy's coming back. They call him the garden deity of Karasuno. He's, uh, um, he's a genius unto himself and stuff like that. And then they catch up at the end of the last episode. And then they also said that Karasuno used to have amazing players in the past. But they couldn't use them to their full potential. So now I'm assuming that those players are gonna come back one after the other, and then with our team now they're gonna be able to do them to the to use them to do them to use them to the full potential. Uh, I can wait for those things to happen. And now let's check out this episode, and here we go. People, I loved this episode just because we see, we got to see these two players that I haven't seen before. Like, they've introduced them to me. You have Noya, Nishinoya, you have Nishinoya, and then you have Asahi. Asahi is an ace, Spiker, and Nishinoya is a libero who's like a, a really great receiver. Now, something happened that made Asahi just give up on volleyball. I mean, it was because in a match he couldn't like get past the blockers at all. So that image was sort of like grained into his mind. He, he couldn't get past it, so he left the team. He didn't go back. And uh, Nishinoya, he was suspended. <laughs> and when he came back, and then like, <laughs> Kageyama asked him, like, why did you join Karasuno? And he's like, he joined because of the girls' uniforms, and then the color of the black, the, the boys' uniform was black. He didn't like brown or something or other. I'm like, boy, so that's your, <laughs> that's the reason why we joined Karasuno. That was so funny. And I loved <laughs> that uh, because Hinata is not good at receiving, he went and asked Noya to help him, you know, become a good receiver. And then Hinata used the when in he told him that he loved to be called senpai and all that. He told him that that he said that he was the uh, deity, guardian deity of Karasuno, and that he was their senpai, and all that just got to him. So when he's like, okay, I'm gonna buy you ice cream, but then he still was not, he still did not want to come back until Asahi comes back. And that's when they went to the backstory of what Asahi didn't want to become, like, didn't want to come back anymore. And seeing suga -san just go to him and tr beg him to come back and like, I don't know. I loved that um, Kageyama said that suga -san also feels responsible, like he has this sort of sense of responsibility in him. And I could see that from the very, like, from the very beginning. You could see that he's a really responsible kind of person. So the fact that they sort of relied on Asahi a lot. That also weighed on him, and it weighed on Asahi. And that's why he did not want to come back. And just seeing 
when he was saying like when Kinata he and Kageyama went to the classroom and then they confronted him and they're like and he's like he can't see past the you know the blockers the hand they show that imagery that they showed at the very first episode the very beginning of the first episode to show how Hinata feels because he's so short and then Hinata told him yeah I know what you mean because I am so short as well and it's so hard to get past those blockers but because of Kageyama I can now do it and then as they were leaving Kageyama told him that yeah I mean you're not the only person on the team you have to rely on the other people and yeah he didn't used to do that Kageyama was like solo all the time so now that he understands that he's able to tell um, Asahi that and then as, as Asahi was going home I guess he walked past the gym and then he saw those two training and then saw the joy on Hinata's face when he spiked the ball and then he remembered his own joy and I'm like boy he's gonna come back like at, even as I was watching the ending music whatever he was there also among the team so yeah he's gonna come back uh noya is like he's gonna go to the practice and all that but he's not gonna do training camp he's gonna do the training camp but he's not gonna practice participate in the practice match because he doesn't want to make asahi feel like they can go on without him so i feel like both of them they're gonna pra- participate in the training and they're gonna practice, uh, do the match at the end there, the last day of training, right? Against the Neko team. And apparently, there's a history between Neko and Karasuno that's gonna push the the owner of the shop to wanna become the coach of Karasuno. I just don't know what the story is. Like, why is that particular team going to make him want to become the coach? I don't know. I love the when uh, Nishinoya was like rolling thunder or something when they were training. And then he, yeah, he rolled and then he received the ball, right? And the ball just went straight into the basket. But I was like, that's some amazing control. Like, that was amazing to me, at least. To just receive the ball and then it just went straight into the basket of balls. <laughs> basket of balls. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that scene. I also loved that when uh, um, Hinata told uh, Asahi that he was gonna be like he wants to be the ace of the team right and then Kageyama um no yeah was so like he loved that about him and then he asked him what position do you play like what's your strength and Kageyama was so what the fuck? Hinata was so like reluctant to say that he was the decoy and no, he's like, why, why are you saying that? Like, why, why are you so not confident about that position? Because without you, the other suppliers they can't do their job. So he made the fact that Hinata is a decoy very important to the um, to Hinata. And then I love the way he made his own position receiver as extremely important. Like I, I love him, man. He's like. Yeah, spikers, etc. That they're amazing, but if the ball touches the ground, then that's it. So the receiver has to keep the ball in play. And I just, I love the whole explanation. I loved it, loved it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I will see you back on Wednesday for my reaction to episode nine. Unless you want to watch it right now, which you can do so on my Patreon. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.